So there are two things I want to cover in this video. So let me get to it. First thing. Now we just talked in the other video about Batman v Superman borrowing from Batman Arkham Knight. Now we see the reciprocation just like when we were looking at Injustice where you're going to see the character Batman and his car from Batman v Superman in Arkham Knight. So here you see Batman v Superman inserted into the video game. So that's the symbiotic relationship we see between the video games and the movie Batman v Superman. Now the second thing I'd like to address came from my video. A person named Tom Cabler, he asked a question and his question was, question, so do you think some people didn't like the movie because they didn't feel it was coming from a video game or as a comic book reader in their opinion? So I'm going to address this question, Tom Cable, because you asked it. And um, I'm going to do it by going to some sources. But to answer your question, Tom, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come from the perspective of people who wrote about the movie. And that's going to help you understand where all of this hate is coming from. I do agree, this movie was dense. It was very compact. There was a lot of stuff in this movie. Okay, And in that respect, it is like the Age of Ultron. But to the extent at which it was panned by critics and to the extent which people in media attacked it, everybody knows this is unjustified. Alex Abad Santos. Alex Abad Santos. Why am I referring to this guy? He's a critic on Rotten Tomatoes. Now, this critic, he found Deadpool is essentially the world's first superhero fan movie. This is what he said. He writes for Vox magazine. Concerning Batman v Superman, he said... Megaton fight scenes are the reason people will put up with bad dialogue or bad logic in a film. It is so an outright tragedy when Batman v Superman showdowns become as boring as the rest of it. Just completely trash the movie, right? Give it a 2 out of 5. Captain America Civil War got a 4.5 out of 5. This is one of the best movies Marvel has created. Okay? He's a critic on Rotten Tomatoes. And guess what? Just like... Scott Mendelson, who's a critic on Rotten Tomatoes and writes articles and follows box office reviews for Forbes. This guy also writes articles and reviews for Vox Culture, which is a pop culture magazine. And what was his article on Batman v Superman before the movie came out March 23rd, 2016 at 1.20 p.m.? Batman v Superman review. This movie is a crime against comic book fans. So... This critic is not only somebody who has say in terms of critically analyzing the film, but then he puts out a review, an article, that says it's a crime against comic book fans. So when you think comic book fans hate this movie, it's really a critic who writes an article in a magazine who says that. When you go to the actual fans, when you go, and I'll show you that information in a minute, right? They don't say the same thing. A little bit more on his history. Alex Abad Santos, first of all, I gotta laugh because this guy has as his subtitle Guardian of the Galaxy. So he thinks of himself as a Guardian of the Galaxy. He's a Guardian of the Galaxy fan. That's the first thing you need to know about this guy. So he's coming from a bias. He's a Filipino writer, by the way. The new Ghostbusters trailer is finally here. It's hilarious. So he enjoyed the first Ghostbuster trailer. Now, his point of view is not the common point of view of most people. Most people did not like the first Ghostbuster trailer. Now, he also did something on the 14 best comic books right now. So, his best superhero films right now, this is his suggestions, is A Force, a superhero team you will quickly fall in love with, Rich Planet, a breaking call to arms, bombshells, a love better to DC's female superheroes, Faith, a superhero we can relate with, Grayson, the gem of DC Comics, Jonesy, a comic book to fall in love with, Lumberjane, Lumberjane the most powerful comic about friendship, Midnight, the first fight scenes in the business, Monstrous, a dazzling, unapologetic, and gruesome adventure, Miss Marvel, the generation defined hero we need, Paper Girls, the next great American comic book, Plutona, Lemire and Lenox have created a haunting stunner, The Legend of Wonder Woman, the comic, the comic a legendary hero deserves, and The Wicked and Divine, a comic book, love letter to music, fame, and mythology. If you notice, all of his 14 best comic books right now are all female-based and centered comic books. So he has a bias. You see, he goes into The Legend of Wonder Woman. is a brilliant comic book Wonder Woman deserves. So we're just moving forward in time right now to his most recent articles. The biggest drama in comic books right now is over Spider-Man and race. 
Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., three key moments from the show's mid-season premiere. Watch the brand new trailer for Captain America, Civil War is here, and so is Spider-Man. The five best moments from the new Captain America Civil War trailer. Ben Affleck says Batman v Superman is really good. For his sake, let's hope it is. So he starts off already shaky. He's, he's, he's doubting Batman v Superman. And this is um, March 15, 2016. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3, Episode 2. Marvel is giving us an X-Men story. The beauty is a terrifying comic book that imagines the beauty as a disease. Watch the new trailer for X-Men. Apocalypse shows off its mutant matchups. Five moments that remind you how good Netflix Daredevil can be. It's time for Wonder Woman resurgence. These comic book creators are making it happen. Batman v Superman review. This movie is a crime against comic book fans. Batman v Superman spoilers. Let's talk about them. Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice is a battle cry for not all men. Daredevil season 2 and the fear of the powerful woman named Elektra. Batman v Superman might be a terrible movie, but it made a record-setting amount of money. Batman v Superman's main flaw is not understanding why Batman and Superman fight. Supergirl crossover with The Flash. It's pure sunshine. Batman v Superman was trashed by the critics. Fans think it's because Marvel paid them. Black Panther by Tanisi Coates and Brian Stelfreeze is brilliant, political, and human. Mark Millar is known for grim, gory comic books. His latest Empress is nothing like it. Or a new psychedelic sci-fi fantasy comic from Image. Batman v Superman should make one of us rethink director Zack Snyder. It's not yet. Suicide Squad looks a lot more fun in its new trailer. So does Captain America Civil War. Kimmel debuted a new Captain America Civil War clip. He also turned Trump into Iron Man. Watch Marvel's trippy, stunning first trailer for Doctor Strange. Daredevil Season 2 review. Marvel's Netflix hit finds itself in a sophomore slump. Watch Batman The Killing Joke's first full trailer. Zack Snyder's baffling vision for superhero movies explained by Zack Snyder. Marvel's Civil War and its politics explained. Captain America Civil War will make you remember why you love superheroes. Americans think Iron Man would beat Captain America in a fight. Captain America Civil War's box office success has made it the summer blockbuster to beat. X-Men Apocalypse, five things to love and hate about Fox's new mutant movie. Every Marvel movie from Captain America Civil War to Iron Man definitively ranked. Why Black Panther is one of the best parts of Captain America Civil War. Captain America Civil War's post credit scene. Spoilers. The Avengers was an authoritarian fantasy. Captain America Civil War challenges it. In defense of Captain America. X-Men Apocalypse is a step back for the X-Men's franchise. How would the X-Men change my life? Captain America's spoiler reveal explained. So I want to put it in context. You know this guy from all the articles that you see and how positive they are. You can see he's a Marvel fan. Guardian of the Galaxy should tell you that. He's a Marvel fanboy and this Marvel fanboy is what is writing about Batman v Superman. And some of the things he's praising Captain America for, he's not doing that in his articles about Batman v Superman. So there's a direct bias there. So we already have a biased, compromised writer going to speak now about Batman v Superman. Now, Tom, concerning people not liking Batman v Superman because they're not versed in the comics or because they don't know about the video games, you can see that that doesn't really matter because people generally look at what is written about a film and they go on what someone else's perspective of it is. And if there's enough people speaking negatively about something, people will not engage in it. And they will start to see, have a negative mindset about it. This is called the sheep herders mentality. So when guys like Alex Abad Santos, who see the movie first as a critic, bash it like he's about to do, without due cause, vehemently destroying the film, people who see that will echo those sentiments. And he's not the only one, but I'm just going to go with him first. And I'll show you how the critics influence people. 